Hey, what's up? I'm Mike from Escape the Fate. Do you want everyone I'm Robert from Escape the Fate. I'm TJ Bell, and I play bass for Escape the Fate. I'm Craig Mabbitt, and I sing for Escape the Fate. Monty, Escape the Fate. And we're Escape the Fate, <laughs> watching Artisan News Service. Getting it done was a f***ing obstacle, bro. <laughs> Making the whole album Yeah, work. there's almost no end to this album. Yep. We went to three different producers to do it. If you guys want to talk about that. We started off with Feldy back in February of 2012. Mm -hmm. And we didn't really think like the tracks were that great that, like, we, that we heard in the end. So we realized that this wasn't the record that we should release. And it should be a little, like, it didn't have the balls to it yet. So then we went to David Bendeth, tried to do a few more tracks with him. Didn't really like what the outcome of that was. And uh, then we went and did it ourselves with, uh, who, well, Brandon, Brandon Soller was there. We had yeah. Brandon come in, we had our, we had Josh Wilbur do the mixes. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we just wanted to do it ourselves. We didn't want to, you know, pay somebody else to get their opinion on us. We wanted to give ourselves our own opinion, so that's what we did. But overall, I say the biggest obstacle, really, though, in making this album was actually just uh, being a band ourselves. When we started making this record, we were, you know, we were really falling apart. We were at like at the wall. We were almost done. We weren't going to have a band, so we really had to pull together and make sure that it was something that we even wanted to do still. And We didn't have a label holding us together or anything. We were just banding as a band, you know? Yeah, there was, it was basically, we had to take it upon ourselves. This whole album is just us really wanting to make music together. So, you know, once, once we came to the realization that this is something that we want to do, then after that, you know, we had to go through hell to put it together and make it happen. But that was just part of the work, you know. Um, after Feldman, it was different songs because, uh, you know, like TJ was saying previously, we just weren't satisfied with the songs in general. Um, and some of the songs we wanted to do when we came in with, with Feldman, it just, we, we ended up not recording them. So when we got a chance to take a step back and say, you know what, let's not rush this record, let's do the songs we want to do. Um, we worked on some of these tracks with David Bendith when we were out in Jersey. And, uh, you know, ultimately we ended up doing those tracks, but on our own terms, so. And this process was over an entire year. Yeah. Longest record-making process of my life. I think it had more to do with, like, us finding the style that we wanted. That's and, what it was. And more of it, like, of our identity. Like, what is Escape to Fade? The songs that we did with John Falm, it's not that they weren't good songs. They weren't the right songs. And so we had to go back and, and, and find those right songs and rewrite some and use some that we didn't use, like Craig said. And... Once we did that, it, it you know we had to do it ourselves to make sure that no one f***ed it up. So we did it. We did it right. So now the responsibility ends up being with you guys. Are you guys ready, like, to basically take all the either the positive stuff or the, or the negative stuff? Because there will be people that say, you know, look, we told you. If, I don't know, but how do you view that? We always have to take responsibility for it, <laughs> whether it's a producer that we choose or, I mean, no matter what, it's always up to us what we do. So, you know, th this time, you know, having Monty Money at the helm more than some uh, another producer who we have to pay a lot of money to, no matter what, we take responsibility for it. And there is a, a bigger sense of pride with it because these are songs that we believed in and, and we have to take the negativity with the positivity and just keep going because we believe in it. <laughs> you were all ungrateful bastards. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the overall theme of the album and just the title, Ungrateful in general, is just, you know, a metaphor to let people know 
start caring about what's right in front of you and stop caring about what you don't have. You know, start caring about what you do have. And uh, that's the overall feel, to me, at least, for the album. And I feel that's the overall attitude of the band at this point in our careers is, uh, you know, we've been, we've been pretty ungrateful up to late and caring about what we haven't had. And uh, we need to stop paying, I mean, start paying attention to what's right in front of us, you know, and start caring about that. So it's definitely a metaphor in that in general. And then the video, obviously, is mainly about the bullying issue. And it's about my personal experiences in life and my friends' experiences in life and stuff I went through. I came up with a concept for the video. Our director, Frankie Nasso, took it to a whole new level. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there you go. There's the answer to that. Yes, yeah, stop caring. Just don't take those, it to heart, man. Just those people don't matter. They don't matter at all. Just do you. Yeah. It's all you keep doing there. You just gotta f keep going. Always. Even us, us, we're old and we get bullied. I mean, we don't. There was times in my life that I thought some of my friends were more important to me than my family, and I know it's hard for a lot of kids. You know, they might not have friends, and they don't feel like they're close to their family, so they feel completely alone. But you know, as much as I thought the rest of my life was going to be depressing, like I felt when I was a kid, it ends so quickly, and your childhood goes away very fast. So just stick through it, because life gets better, and then you're in control of it. And as much as I hated being young, I seriously miss it still to this day, because yeah. it literally goes away like that, and then all of a sudden you're... I'm 26 now, and then tomorrow I'm going to be 36, and then I'm going to be 56. And it's like, I wish I was still running around. I wish my dad was still smacking me around while I was in my Spider-Man whitey tighties <laughs> with no cares in the world, you know what I mean? I was, I'm, I'm eating for free. I'm living for free. Like, no responsibilities whatsoever except doing your homework two plus two. So it's really not that bad. So just... Just stop, stop caring about the things that don't matter. Stop but, being but the But the, the whole thing, the whole concept with Ungrateful is not so much the message towards a victim. It's more of a message towards the bully to break the cycle, to stop it. So, you know, we're all, we all feel it, even the bullies. I was a bully at some point. I was a victim at some point. The point is to stop it. And that, that's, that was the message behind that video. Robert still picks on me to this day, so... And believe me, we have footage of me Robert. getting picked on. You <laughs> stop, man. I can't help it, dude. I can't stand it anymore. Oh, you guys are all so short. <laughs>